Hello, this is Simon Chilambo here. When I was doing this piece here during the early hours of Tuesday, 8th December, the COVID-19 death toll in the United States was at 290, 373 by worldometers.info. ncov2019.live data had 290, 342. Today, right now, you know, as we speak, Worldometers Info has can even uh, uh, update uh, it now. It may have changed, you know, in the last uh, few minutes. It's buffering. It's now 299,299 ,295 deaths in the United States coronavirus cases and then if we go to ncov2019.live again we can refresh ncov2019.live as of now and the time is 23:38. it shows a 299 251 uh, deaths covid19 related covid19 deaths in the united states of america if we go to cdc uh, which is um, often more conservative and you know uh, is uh, a few hours up to 24 hours uh, behind as from january 21 2020 and um, up to 10th december uh, 4 21 uh, pm cdc had recorded 288,762. but um for purposes of my presentation today, um, we relate ourselves to World Info, WorldMeters.info, and you know what's interesting now. You know, it's um, um, before I refresh the site, and uh, uh, let's see now. It's showing 299, 295. We refresh and see within just you know. A few minutes uh, they probably will have uh, been an update remember this is um, um, real time uh, recording um, of these deaths here uh, let's see yes within just a matter of, of, of minutes uh, three new deaths COVID-19 coronavirus disease um, deaths are record, recorded in the United States and I must say that uh, uh, working with this piece, you know, was and you know has been, uh, you know, a, a very emotional um, uh, trip. Uh, and as I'm going to read it now, it's uh, it's also, uh, you know, my, my, my body is is shaking. Or it's not quite visible, uh, but um, I'm, I'm feeling things inside. Uh, I might even cry. Once again, my thoughts and prayers to the deceased and to the bereaved the world over. The piece is called The 3K Threshold. I envision that this time next year, December 8, 2021, Uschlobersch Huvit Indexen shall have leaped over the 1000 points mark. I will be a small player in the ensuing Bursch Festen as right now my capital numbers aren't as big as they once have been before. I end peanuts when I should be grinding peanut butter in tons. 
Oslo taxman in Kasomen uh, sniffing my bottoms thinking that I bathe in peanut butter oil when I'm left with peanut shells after they've plundered my wealth. And then I see seashells in my head. I want to be fisherman swimming in fish oil that no debt collector can wipe dry. I want to swim like it said that they do in Sunmere, seafood paradise, Western Norway, where money grows out in the sea for grabs, each inward stroke underwater, assuming you've got the lungs. I look with dismay at rising numbers in USA dancing with COVID-19, having forgotten dances with wolves. This time next week, December 15, 2020, I bet that the number shall have soared over the 300,000 mark. It's not a lot of number. Not a number for pre-Christmas jubilation with my bank accounts suddenly become fat. Like burning oil, running wild, ferocious in Texas, crude fields, COVID-19 would have killed a bewildering plus three times 100,000 Americans this time next week, December 15, 2020. I shudder at the premonition and it ain't over yet. Blessings from God miracles, man of repugnant, slimy, purgative, wet kisses still don't get it. Kiss of death acquired a new face of horror throwing feeble kicks of a dying horse thinking is the alter ego of the Wall Street bull. Yet the bull's horns are broken. Wall Street can't stand the lunacy anymore. The economy is morose. Time is up. Go home. Inject your disinfectants in your lungs and disappear in one minute. 300,000 and more souls want your flesh in all its pounds. Open your bowels. Run, loser, run, if you can.